An elected official in Box Butte County is accused of being in contempt of court. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, Box Butte County Public Defender Enid Summers Dehaney was removed from at least five assigned cases, and Helen Winston of Gehring was appointed to represent the defendants. In a filing with one of the clients, Winston says that the public defender reached out to the defendant requesting a retainer fee and failed to send over all files for the case that she took over. A September 7th court date is scheduled for Summers Dehaney to answer to contempt of court accusations. Additionally, the Panhandle Post is reporting that a recall petition has been filed to remove Summers Dehaney from office due to her incompetence as an attorney. Well, a September 8th preliminary hearing has been set for a 49-year-old man facing charges including possession of methamphetamine more than 140 grams after he apparently left a large amount of meth in the back of a patrol cruiser. Court documents say Jonathan Borquin had been taken to the Scottsbluff County Detention Center after a glass pipe with white residue was found on his person during a traffic stop on Thursday. When the officer returned to their cruiser, they found six baggies of suspected meth in the rear secure area where Borquin was sitting with a total weight of more than five ounces. Bond was set at $400,000 with a 10% provision during his initial appearance in Scottsbluff County Court. And seven new faculty members have joined Shattered State College for the fall semester, including two from Scottsbluff County. Dr. Adam Hazing is an assistant professor in justice studies. The CSE grad worked for Simmons Olson Law Firm in Scottsbluff for more than a decade practicing civil law and says he's excited to be back at Shattered State teaching the same program he graduated from. Dr. Tiffany Wasserberger is also an associate professor in justice studies. She grew up in Shadron and graduated from CSE and UNL's College of Law. She worked for the Scottsbluff County Attorney's Office and was also the Criminal Justice Program Director at WNCC for the past 10 years. Looking for free instead of fees? Platte Valley Bank can help you keep your finances moving forward with no ATM fees. Whether you're headed to the lake, the mountains, or just to the grocery store, you can enjoy the freedom of free ATM access anywhere, anytime. Platte Valley Bank. You belong here. Benzel Pest Control has been the Wyoming and Nebraska area's most committed professional pest control company. We have four generations and nearly 50 years of experience serving Nebraska, Wyoming, and Colorado, as well as certified entomologists on staff. So whether you're dealing with spiders, wasps, rodents, or any other unwanted visitors, give Benzel Pest Control a call today for an estimate at 888-229-2128 or visit our website at benzelpestcontrol.com. Welcome back. Nebraska's leading economic indicator grew in July, according to the most recent report from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln's Bureau of Business Research. The indicator designed to predict economic activity six months into the future rose 0.89% for the month. Economist Eric Thompson says five of the six components of the indicator were up, suggesting growth of the Nebraska economy into early 2024. Businesses were confident reporting plans to increase both sales and employment over the next six months in our monthly survey of Nebraska business. There also was an increase in building permits for single family homes and manufacturing hours worked. Prices for new homes and food are strong right now 
which benefited each of these industries. Other positive components included a fall in the value of the dollar, making Nebraska exports more affordable in the international marketplace, and initial claims for unemployment insurance were also down. The only indicator that was not in positive territory for the month were airline passenger counts. Well, Governor Jim Pillen on Friday announced that payments to Nebraska cattle producers who have suffered weather-related losses will be compensated at a higher rate. Pillen thanked Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack for answering his call to boost the Livestock Indemnity Program payment rate in response to his urgent request on behalf of Nebraska cattle producers. Pillen contacted Vilsack in early August when it became apparent that cattlemen would suffer losses due to the combination of high temperatures, high humidity, and lack of air movement, a trifecta of weather conditions that took its toll on livestock across the state. The governor continues to urge producers to do their part and report losses to their county FSA offices. County FSA offices can also determine eligibility for federal assistance for producers who were adversely affected by any extreme weather events in 2023. Better sleep and better health can be found at Western Sleep Medicine in Gary. Since 2006, Western Sleep Medicine has offered the lowest cost sleep testing either in their independent sleep laboratory or the privacy of your own home. You have control over your health care and your out-of-pocket costs. All insurance is accepted for a much lower cost than the regional option. If you need a sleep study, ask for Western Sleep Medicine. They've helped thousands of people over the years and want to help you. Western Sleep Medicine. Better sleep, better health. This is KNEB.TV Ag News from the FNBO Ag Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. We'll begin today's broadcast by heading out and into the field. We're checking in now on crops in southwest Nebraska near the tiny village of Wilsonville. With more, here's my colleague from the Rural Radio Network, Clay Patton. Find ourselves back once again in south central Nebraska near the town of Wilsonville on SR Farms, Alfalfa Company and Husker Hay Haulers. Steve Rice is joining us once again and Steve, 2023 is just the year that won't relent it seems like. Uh, I go back to our last episode, we had just had a major hailstorm that basically mowed everything off. But to catch viewers up, that wasn't the end of it as you were trying to build back from that initial hailstorm, another one came in. So kind of tell us where we're at right now in the hay growing season. Well, we're all over the place as far as that goes. Uh, unfortunately, we had that hailstorm with the big stones in it. Uh, mid-June and then we got a nice regrowth coming back. It was actually making a recovery and then Mother Nature dealt us another blow and mowed it off again. We lost about 350 acres for the second time in the valley here and then the pigweeds start coming back and the regrowth because it's getting into you know early August when it's coming back. So we lost weed control um, and we've put up a lot of round bales this year probably more round bales this year than we have in the last 10 years combined because of weather conditions. So, um, like I say, we're finishing up on some second cutting that was hailed and we'll be baling some third cutting in the next day or two. So our, our crops all over the, all over the place as far as, uh, um, maturity. And to give people an idea, obviously there isn't quite an average year in farming, but over a long enough lifespan, there, there seems to be some ones that come out. Typically, where would we be here by mid-August had you not faced some of these challenges with the storms? Well, um, 
and not only the storms, but also lack of moisture. That it's yeah. it's kind of twofold because we're we're seeing areas of our farming practice that has multiple like 14 days worth of moisture in a month but only getting an inch and a half of rain out of all of that moisture so all it's doing is messing up hay and it's not really helping the dry land um, so we're way down as far as tons terribly down as far as quality um, and it's dry it's going to get hot here this in into this week we're going to make some nice quality hay i hope but uh, it's not going to be a lot of it there's not a lot of high quality forage in Southwest Nebraska. Where does that put us if we were already on tight hay supplies? Is this kind of not only affecting Southwest Nebraska, but will it have ripple effects to a broader industry? Oh, sure. Um, you know, Texas is calling, Oklahoma's calling, um, even East Texas is calling for, for stock cow hay. And, you know, our, our, our dairy quality hay is way down. Um, quite a few tons worth of low quality hay in Kansas and Nebraska and maybe even Colorado. Um, so the lower quality hay, there's probably gonna be an abundance of that. But as far as, you know, number one dairy hay or horse hay in this area of the country, it's gonna be in real short demand or supply. At again is Steve Rice, SR Farms, Alfalfa Company, Husker Hay Haulers here in Wilsonville, Nebraska. Tri-City Stormwater presents Stormwater 101, an illicit discharge. At Renewal by Anderson, they make the best windows and patio doors you can get. But they've also set the gold standard for service. At Renewal by Anderson, their signature service is second to none. It's old school quality. It's this type of service doesn't exist outside of Renewal. Renewal by Anderson's signature service, trust, respect, care. Renewal by Anderson, you'll be delighted like so many others are. Visit rbawyoming.com now to book your free estimate. Let's take a look at your community calendar brought to you by Riverstone Bank. The community calendar is brought to you by Riverstone Bank. We're local and we love our community.
Life is crazy. Pain is stressful. How can anybody concentrate with these busy schedules? Now you can. This is Ben Moravec coming to you from HydroZen, a float therapy business right here in Scotts Bluff. I'm here today to let you know we now have memberships for $49 monthly. You can guarantee yourself at least one float per month. You know how floating keeps your muscles relaxed, your joints relieved, and your brain clear to think? Now you can float at a reduced rate each month. Inquire today at hydrozenfloat.com or call us at 308-63-FLOAT. Hydrozen. Unplug and recharge. Tired of feeling stuck? Not sure if you are on the right track? Platte Valley Bank can help keep your finances moving forward with checking account options to fit your lifestyle and an online account chooser to make finding the right account easy. Control your financial future with helpful budgeting tools and automatic savings plans. Now is the time to enjoy the ride with Platte Valley Bank. You belong here. And finally tonight, 10 servicemen were honored Sunday at the Moral American Legion. The local Panhandle Blocks group out of Alliance presented these veterans with their own quilts of valor. Each quilt is unique, featuring a variety of designs. In the last five years, Panhandle Blocks has presented more than 950 quilts to veterans. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. We'll see you here next time.